Hello and welcome everyone to Silver Asset of the Day for the 19th of November 2021 presented by myself Phil Carr at the Gold and Silver Club. So I'm sure you've noticed it, silver has also tanked over the course of this week. So it's currently down 2% on the week, it's down 1% over the course of Thursday, much like gold, which is down 0.5% on the week so far. Platinum is also down 3.5% this week as well. This all carries on for what we discussed with you on Gold Asset of the Day in the week ahead commodity report and last week as well, that typically from the middle of November onwards, expect profit taking and pullbacks on the precious metals. In fact, we've capitalized on these moves over this week by banking 1,100 points here on Platinum. We've now banked 3,800 points over this week on Palladium and we've banked 800 points on natural gas and over 135 points on crude oil. So in total, we've essentially banked over 5,000 points of profit over the course of this week. So of course, for every one lot contract that you'll be trading, that's $50,000 of profit. For every 10 lot contract that you will be trading, that's half a million dollars in profit. We've mentioned it many times before, but commodities are extremely lucrative right now. To capitalize on this day-to-day -day volatility that we are seeing in the market, we've seen it so many times recently with the energies, with natural gas, with oil prices, huge swings giving you great opportunities to come in and out of those markets alongside platinum, palladium, copper, gold, silver, they're all delivering massive returns with their current amount of volatility that they move on a week to week basis. So where do we stand right now with respect to the cycles for the metals over the next couple of weeks? So everything that we talked you through on the week ahead commodity report and Tuesday's asset of the day, that is playing out with this typical move that you get lower as you get into the middle of November with silver, as I mentioned. So silver right now is trading back below 25 US dollars per ounce. Hedge funds and money managers in the last week, they did increase their overall net long position by 2%. So of those hedge funds that have a long position, 68% are currently long. But as I mentioned before, you don't want to FOMO in over this week and end up catching the high for gold, for silver, for platinum here or palladium, because typically you get a breakout that's faded, i.e. a bull trap at this time of year where traders, they can't take it anymore. They see the metals rising, they end up buying in right at the highs just before we get a takedown, which we're already witnessing at the moment. So next week, what we're moving into is Thanksgiving holiday in the USA. Typically there is a massive sell-off as you move into Thanksgiving, thin and liquidity during that holiday period. Naturally, you're going to see that anyway with contract settlement in the market where traders are closing out their contracts contracts are moving in to the next contract. You also have end of month profit taking as well. Given that gold prices recently, they're broken out towards five month highs. Also silver prices, we've had similar breakouts to the upside, which we continue to capitalize on. As you know, we're long on gold from 1,727 US dollars per ounce, banked over a thousand points on that trade. We've locked in profits on platinum, on palladium, on copper, on natural gas, on crude oil over this month. And it's been very lucrative to do so. But we are moving into a time of year where typically you do get some outflows going into next week and the end of November then there is a very different cycle to capitalize on as we transition into the month of December. So really the key takeaway right now is what we mentioned to you at the beginning of the week, expect sell-offs on the metals. This is all playing out, right? Silver is down 2% this week. It's coming off the recent highs. Gold is down half percent so far, but we could certainly see more outflows into next week. Platinum is leading the sell-off down over 3% at the moment. So I would definitely keep an eye on that as we go into next week. And then again, this sets up for some really great opportunities as we move into the month of December. And this is of course, where you do not want to be utilizing outdated technical analysis strategies, which will constantly give you delayed confirmations in the market. You'll end up getting chopped up a lot in the market or end up being death by a thousand cups because you just keep getting stopped out of your positions. You end up FOMOing in at the top where you miss the entire move. And this is not what we want for you with your trading. You want to really be utilizing a research driven approach, utilizing data, market intelligence, statistics in the market, understanding and awareness of capital flows alongside that the key areas of liquidity, the intermarket correlations, the ratios, understand and learn the daily, the weekly, the monthly, the quarterly cycles in the market. Alongside that, the sentiment, macroeconomics, and the key news items which will have the biggest impact for each commodity, creating impulse moves that you can really capitalize on where the markets move extremely quickly, where you can benefit from those big moves extremely fast. And alongside that, learn and understand how the hedge funds and money managers and banks and institutions 
are positioned in the market, that will help you massively to get an edge. So with that, if you would like to join our community of successful traders, learn the research-driven approach to the market, and join our professional mentorship program, there is an opportunity for you to do so. Just make sure you click in the link below today's report in order to join our professional mentorship program.